Hello everyone, this is Dr. Dhiman and in this video we will learn about the determination of voltage sign. In the first part we will see about sign of the battery EMF and in the second part we will see about sign of IR drop that is the resistance voltage drop okay i into r that means whenever we have a resistance we will have voltage drop and we will find out the voltage drop in a resistance and from that we will find out the sign of the voltage drop considering the motion or the direction of travel and consideration of the current flow we will see one by one then we will consider a example practical example from that we will find out the sign for the IR drop as well as the battery EMF. First of all, let us see about the sign of battery EMF. Okay, sign of battery EMF means whenever we have a EMF or a voltage source, what will be the sign? Okay, so if we go from this direction to this right hand side, the direction, so what we'll have? So in this direction, what we have? We have a negative potential in the left hand side and in the right hand side, we have a positive potential. That means this point B is at higher potential. Okay, and A is at lower potential. You can see from the EMF source. So in this direction, here I have shown here, in this direction, there is a rise in voltage. So in the left to right direction, we have a rise in voltage. So whenever we have a rise in voltage, this E, that is the EMF value, will have a positive value. Okay. So whenever we have a rise in voltage, then we will consider a positive E. Now, let us see in the right hand side. If the direction of travel is from the point A to B, then we can see that in the left hand side, we have a positive sign. Positive sign means it has a higher potential. That means this A point has a higher potential than the point B. So there is a fall in voltage. Okay. So from left to right, there is a fall in voltage. Why? Because from higher potential, that is the positive sign shows the higher potential at point A. And this negative sign shows that this B point is at lower potential compared to point A. So from here, we have a fall in voltage. Whenever we have a fall in voltage, we will consider it to be minus E. That is the EMF value, we will consider it to be negative. So this is the first uh, consideration we have seen here that is if the direction of current is from negative to the positive terminal of the battery then we will have a rise in potential as shown in the left hand side of this figure okay and if we have a fall in voltage or if if the direction of current is from positive to the negative terminal of the battery then there is a fall in potential Hence, the voltage should have a negative sign because fall means it is a decrease. So if there is a decrease, we have to put a negative sign. Now let us see the sign of IR drop. IR drop means I is the current, R is the resistance. Okay, this is the resistance and this capital I is the current. Current into resistance means it is the voltage because from Ohm's law we have V equal to IR. So this is as per the Ohm's law. Now we'll find out the sign of IR drop whenever we'll be having a resistance as shown here. So whenever we'll have a resistance, what will be the sign of the voltage drop in this resistance? So here I have considered both the condition. So in the first case, we have considered that motion of that is the direction of travel or we have considered some loop and there will be some uh, considered direction in that loop. Okay. And from that direction, if the motion of travel is same as the current direction, here you can see current is flowing from left to the right hand side that is from point A to point B and the motion is also that is the motion of travel or the direction of travel is also from a to b there will be a fall of voltage because if the current direction is from left to right this a point should have a higher potential you can see why i have given here this positive sign this positive sign means a is at higher potential because you can see this current is flowing from a to b from left to right from higher potential to the lower potential current always from that we have considered this one is the positive and b is at lower potential than a 
so what will have this voltage drop there should be some voltage drop across this resistance capital r and let us assume that this voltage drop is capital v okay so in this case what will have will have a travel from positive or higher potential to a negative or lower potential direction so in this case there is a fall in voltage okay whenever there is a fall in voltage the voltage this one will have what will be the value so this will be minus v if we assume the current to be capital i here because i r drop we are calculating so we have to write it as minus i r this v will be equal to i r as per the ohm's law so whenever we have the same direction of the current and the propagation direction and the travel direction if they are the same current direction and the motion of propagation and the propagation direction also the same then there is a fall in voltage in resistance and then we will have the fall in voltage is minus v and it is equal to minus ir now let us consider the second case in the second case we can see that we have considered the same motion of propagation that is we have considered some in some mesh or loop we have considered same propagation direction or the travel direction and we have considered that the now current is flowing from right hand side to the left hand side that is from point b to point a the current is flowing that means this b will have higher potential because from higher potential to lower potential the current will flow so this b point will have a higher potential than capital a so in this case this positive terminal of this battery will be on the right hand side and the negative will be towards the point a this is not a battery okay this is the voltage drop capital v is the voltage drop so we can say that whenever we go from a to b if we consider from a to b the motion of the propagation or the motion direction or the direction of travel here we are going from negative to positive terminal that means from a lower potential to a higher potential there will be a rise in voltage so whenever we have a rise in voltage this voltage drop in this resistance will be plus v okay plus v and this will be equal to same if we consider the current flowing through this resistance is capital i so what will have current direction is this this direction from b to a if current value is capital i so here we'll have i r and this will have a positive value so this was the basic basic of the ir drop and basic of the emf direction okay and we have seen that in case of emf what will be the sign of the emf and the in the resistance case okay, so also we have considered the sign for ir drop that is the voltage drop across resistance okay now let us see one example here i have considered a sample circuit here i have considered resistances r1 r2 r3 r4 current direction as well as the current value i have considered to be i1 through r1 so this current through r2 is i2 and current flowing through r3 is capital i3 and current flowing through r4 is capital i4 these are the points a b c and d so here i have shown some external connection to this circuit so this is the mesh i have considered and the direction of travel here i have written it is in the clockwise direction i have considered in the clockwise direction so in the previous case we have this is the direction of travel here i have considered in the previous case i have shown this motion so this motion is nothing but this direction of travel in this case what will be the value or what will be the sign for i1 r1 now let us see sign for i1 r1 what will be the value now see if the direction of travel is same with the direction of i1 so what will have the value will be negative because you can see here in the case of resistance if the direction of current is same as the direction of motion then there will be a fall in voltage and will have a negative voltage so this i1 r1 is negative because there is a fall in potential therefore i1 r1 will have a negative sign now let us see for i2 r2 i2 r2 is so what will be the i2 r2 this one i2 direction now see this is the clockwise direction that is we have considered this direction that means this direction of i2 and this direction of travel is the same okay or the direction of motion is the same okay we'll have a negative sign that is the fall in potential now let us see i3 
R3. So I3 R3 the direction of so let me write here sign of this sign of I1 R1 is negative sign of I2 R2 is negative and similarly for I3 R3 now here you can see for the case of R3 this is the R3 now here you can see this direction of travel is in the clockwise direction so that means in this direction that means now the direction of the current I3 and the direction of travel is opposite here you can see this I3 is flowing from left to right and the direction of travel is from right to the left this sign of I3 R3 potential or the voltage drop will be positive this is the rise in potential rise in potential because you can see both the direction is opposite now let us see for this resistance i4 i4 r4 i4 r4 is the voltage drop across this resistance r4 so now you, here you can see this direction of travel is in the direction and the i4 is in the same direction so this i4 r4 will have a negative sign of voltage drop so that is the fall of potential so i4 r4 we have a fall in potential now let us see for the voltage sources so we have to calculate the sign of this voltage depending on the rise in voltage or fall in voltage so if we have a rise in voltage that is in the direction of motion or direction of travel so if there is a rise in potential or rise in voltage then we'll have a positive value and if there is a fall in voltage then here will be a negative value so in this circuit for e1 now let us see the direction of travel is in this direction okay for this emf source here you can see this long bar means this is a positive terminal so a short bar means this is a negative terminal okay so from negative to the positive we are going because you can see the direction direction is this one in this direction in the clockwise direction this uh, direction of travel is considered this e1 is positive because we have a rise in potential you can see again this direction of travel is in the clockwise direction going from this point to this point in this emf source so here we have a negative to the positive that is we have a rise in potential so here we'll have a positive sign okay now for e2 e2 is now let us see for the case of e2 you can see the direction of travel is in this direction here you can see there uh, this positive to the negative that means in this direction of travel we have positive to the negative terminal of the battery that is current is flowing from positive to the negative so what will be the value so there is a fall in voltage why fall in voltage because from higher potential it is coming to the lower potential so this e2 emf source will have a negative value so this is a fall in potential so we have calculated or so we have found out the sign for the ir drops as well as the emf sources so using kvl that is the kirchhoff's voltage law so according to kirchhoff's voltage law what we have sum of emf plus sum of ir is equal to zero this is as per the kirchhoff's voltage law kvl so what we'll have here so in this circuit we have this i1 r1 is negative i2 r2 is negative i3 r3 is positive i4 r4 is negative again e1 is positive e2 is negative so just put this positive or negative sign in front of them and you find out the sum so here we'll have minus i1 r1 minus i2 r2 plus i3 r3 minus i4 r4 now if we see this emf okay emf summation so plus e1 minus e2 whatever be the sign i have put here it is from this discussion here you can see e1 has a positive value so here we have put a plus e1 so this i4 r4 has a negative value here you can see so we have put a minus sign here so we have a fall in potential so this should be equal to zero as per the kvl okay kirchhoff's voltage law ir values towards the right hand side what will have i1 r1 plus i2 r2 minus i3 r3 
प्लस आई फोर आर फोर इज इक्वल टू E1 minus E2. So we have learned how to apply the KVL in a mesh. There is no element that is traveled twice. So we can travel one element once. So once we have completed the loop, so from the starting point A, we are going through B, C, and D, and then coming to A. We have found out this KVL implementation. So this is the equation of this mesh using Kirchhoff's voltage law. Thank you for watching. If you have any question, please put it in the comment section below. Also, share this video with your friends. Thank you.